right. So my name is Tim Burrows. I'm, I'm a Tesla owner, and what we're looking at today is is my Tesla Model X, which is of course a, an all-electric vehicle. This particular model is the Tesla 100. D, which means I have a 100 kilowatt hour battery and okay. uh, as a result of that this car has a range of 475 kilometers on a charge. So some of the interesting characteristics about the car, it's, uh, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle so this car has an electric motor driving the front wheels and a second one driving the rear wheels. When you don't have a big gas engine in the car, it gives you extra space. Oh, so that's naturally space. you keep yeah. your lawn furniture in the front of your car. Which is one of the advantages. The, uh, as you can see, people are finding the button to open and close the doors. Yes. I'm going to open the door on the other side here, the big falcon wing door. Okay. To give you an idea what that looks like. Oh, it's so, like a super wing. Yeah. Aside from just looking cool, it does give you really easy access to the the rear of the car. Yes, easy to get yes. in and out of. Do you have a key or something to operate this car? Or yeah. It's actually a little Tesla car. The, the, the key fob looks like a little Tesla. Yeah. Pushing on the front opens the front trunk or the frunk. Okay. Pushing twice on the back opens the rear. I can open those big doors that you saw by pressing on the side. Yeah. And pressing on the roof opens the front doors. Electric car with electric motors has a lot of torque right from the start starting point. It's far more powerful off the line than uh, typical gas. Huh? The top speed on this is uh, close to 200 kilometers an hour. And it, uh, not that I've ever tested that, mind you. But it, uh, it's, the amazing thing is that it's silent and vibration free. So a combination of all that power and no sound and no vibration is a wonderful feeling and a wonderful driving experience. A bit of interior. We'll have to get through the, the uh, fans here. <laughs> So you'll find on uh, Tesla cars there are, are ver very few physical buttons on the car. Um, mm -hmm. The controls are primarily done through this large center screen. And if I open up that menu, you can see that uh, the menu of, of uh, items that I can control through touch. Door seats, the suspension can be raised and lowered, different driving conditions, um, seat, heat, seat heaters and uh, trip meter anyway all of these things can be controlled through touch yeah what you're looking at here of course is the navigation screen so uh, if I put in Orlando Florida actually I'll put in uh, yeah, I'll put in Orlando Florida and here we are in Mississauga these red dots that you see faint at the moment these are all Tesla supercharging stations okay so these are our stations that Tesla build for their own vehicles and that will charge the car really very quickly um, on a trip to Florida that we're mapping out here, the, the computer is figuring out the best route and what chargers to use would um, uh, involve certain charges that were as, as short as 15 minutes and some maybe up to 35 or 40 minutes, but relatively painless. Since you can drive for 475 kilometers on a charge, by that point most people need to take a bio break or a, a stop for a coffee. So has there been a situation where uh, you have gone on a long drive and you're on a works to finish your entire power and there's no power station nearby? So how would that situation be overcome? Well, remember, I've never had that situation okay. and I've driven uh, a lot. So I've driven probably about 160,000 kilometers now on electric. Okay. This is my second electric car. Okay. I've, I've come close on one occasion in, when I was hitting some very powerful headwinds and uh, the computer uh, was telling me that I was running out of charge. But I found out if you just slow down, it extends your range tremendously. Okay. So that's one trick that, that we know uh, in electric cars. But remember with these cars, you can charge them, plug them into anything. So a campground, um, even a gas station, you could go in and run an extension cord and plug it into a 110 outlet, like okay. a household outlet. Now that would be painfully slow, but it would get you, get you moving a distance to get to where you can get to a faster charger. It's a very pleasant experience and uh, personally I like I enjoy it at night time because you can look straight up. It's like being in a helicopter uh, <laughs> bubble, right? You can look straight yeah. up and see the stars and, sky, and the sky. Um, in this daytime, they, they do have a, a visor which pops down and it's magnetic. So it pops in there so I can lock it like that. Okay. Or move it wherever it needs to be. So you do have that just to block the sun. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it's just a nice driving, open driving. It makes the, the cabin feel roomy. Yeah.
And how many people can actually have a seat in this? This is a six seat uh, version of the car. It's also available in a seven seat. So okay. in the, the second row, you could put a second, uh, another seat in between those two seats. Okay. So seats are detachable? Uh, not detachable, but they'll fold down. The ones in the back will lay flat. Okay. I have one side laying flat at the back right now. Yeah. Okay. Let me open that up. There we go. I don't know if that helps you see anything. <laughs> That's cool and something, yeah. Um, one of the advantages, of course, to electric cars, you have uh, no gas tank. So now there's more storage space down here. You can see all my junk down there. Okay. But, uh, it's too much of space, yeah? Yeah, okay. so just extra, extra storage space. Okay. And how about the seat? Is it uh, removable? Yeah, or it, it'll, lo it'll lay flat just as the one beside oh. it is now. Okay. I just have one laying flat now and the other one upright. The charging cord's hidden behind okay. here. Oh. So now you can see. Okay. And so one end of the cable fits into that. The other end has interchangeable plugs. So I can plug it into a 110 outlet or a 240 volt or a whatever. I see a big, huge wheel over here. So, is there any special, or it's just a normal tubeless tire? It's yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing special about the tires. The, um, the one nice feature the car does have is adjustable suspension. So I can raise and lower the car. And in fact, uh, if you had an area, say down on your street, where there was a bad pothole, and you raise the car to go over it, the car using GPS will always remember that spot, and it will raise by itself. You never have to do it again you go over it and it'll lower itself. So it's kind of clever that way. The other thing you can't see, again using GPS technology, is that when I drive into my driveway, it opens the garage door for me. As soon as I pull the driveway, it, 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 it opens the door. So, fun features.